Welcome to Tie and Ride, a finance guy's market mini report, a short podcast that updates you on the past week's important topics and trends. Remember, this is not an offer to sell, and past performance does not guarantee future returns. Here are Ty Hansen and Brian Robertson. Hello, and welcome to another market mini report for the week ending September 17th. Uh, another crazy week in the markets. Uh, nothing too wild. Um, I mean, definitely, you know, not seeing uh, great returns the last couple of weeks. Uh, in fact, on the month, the markets are actually down uh, right around about 1%. Um, but yeah, mo- most of that's been given back just the last two weeks. Uh, the last couple of weeks, the market in, in, in total is down a couple of percent. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of people asking me, you know, hey, what does this mean? What does this look like? Um, you know, again, I always come back to uh, what is the bigger economic picture looking like, right? Are we seeing good economic trends? Are we seeing bad economic trends? Is this just a little blip in the radar? Is this something bigger we need to worry about? Um, again, nobody knows exactly, right? But as I'm looking at this, so this last week, as we look at economic data, uh, sales data came out positive, better than expected. And the consumer price index, right? So as we're starting to look at inflation data, that was actually lower than expected. So again, we're seeing better sales and spending and inflation being a little less scary, if you will. So, you know, to me, that's those are good indications, seeing good economic data. So so that's positive. Um, I talked about this a little bit last week, uh, but I want to stress that, you know, as we look at the markets, um, the, again, so I, I don't like to always say, hey, this time of year, these certain things always happen and it's not a big deal, right? I don't, I, again, I don't like... Um, doing the annual thing. I like looking at what's going on now. Uh, however, having said that, if we do look at the last you know, five years around this time period, the September, October time period, uh, four out of those five years, we, we did see some sell-offs. So again, is it just kind of par for the course right now? Maybe. Uh, what, what I expect or what I think it is, is you start to see, you know, people going back to school, we're done with summer, we're done with travel. There's a lot that's, you know, people are kind of refocusing on their families, things like that. So that does, I think, slow the markets down a little bit, uh, kind of the, the, the lows of September. Uh, and then what we all would start to see, too, is that coming into October, November, you know, we start to see that ramp up for, uh, you know, Christmas sales, things like that. So, uh, again, is it an exact science? No. Uh, I think this is more an element of that, right? The market was running really, really hot. And now we're seeing that market back off just a little bit like like we've seen before in September and October. So uh, again, as I look at the fundamental economic data, I'm, I'm, I'm actually still pretty optimistic, M- more so than I would have been, you know, six months ago uh, from what I was projecting. So, um, So yeah, and again, we're also seeing some pretty crazy volatility in the crypto markets as well. Uh, I mean, if you've been watching in the last month or so, it's been it's been a pretty wild little ride. Uh, it did, did take a nice little dip a couple of weeks ago, but it's it's rebounding. So, uh, so continuing to see that that volatility trend in the in the uh, crypto area. So, um, yeah, again, all in all, um, nothing that I'm looking at right now in the markets has me too overly concerned, and I do reserve the right to change on and in any given moment of any given day depending on what i'm seeing in the markets uh but no I, all in all this year i think things are still trending really well we're still going to see the market up over you know 10 15 percent um i mean we may even see the market stay above you know get above and stay above 20 percent on the year so again all in all still a, a really good year when most people earlier in 2021 were calling for you know a huge market sell-off so um, next week's really going to be important. Um, we're going to hear from uh, Federal Chairman Powell on Wednesday. Uh, a lot of information that will be coming out there, so we'll see how the markets react to that. Um, again, other than that, you know, I, my thought is stay the course. Um, and if anything, you know, I think it's just a good reminder that yes, corrections are normal. They're healthy. That's part of the game. 
And we don't want to get too wrapped up in, you know, a, a one or two week period of sell off, right? Uh, if anything, it creates more opportunity in the markets. So, you know, is this a sign of something worse? I don't think so. Again, I reserve the right to change that at any time. But uh, all in all, economic data looks pretty good. So anyways, thanks again for the listen. Check us out, tyandrye.com. And have a wonderful weekend. As always, thanks for the listen. Thanks for listening to Ty and Rye, the Finance Guys. This is our weekly market mini report. New episodes of this will be put out every Monday. So make sure you don't miss those. Also, the longer podcasts, more in-depth discussions, those will drop every Saturday. So subscribe on your favorite podcast platform or follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube at Ty and Rye Podcast. That way you don't miss any new episodes. Thanks for listening, everybody. Hope you have a great week.